Today, we are looking at non-unit fractions. But first, to get you warmed up, pause the video and have a go at these starters. A unit fraction is any fraction where the numerator is 1. For example, 1 quarter. The fractions shown on this fraction mat are all unit fractions. The numerator in each fraction is one part of the whole. We've got half, one part out of two altogether. A third, one part out of three altogether. A quarter, one part out of four altogether. A fifth, one part out of five parts altogether. A sixth, one part out of six altogether. A seventh, one part out of seven parts altogether. An eighth, one part out of eight parts altogether. A ninth, one part out of nine parts altogether. And a tenth, one part out of ten equal parts altogether. Pause the video here and write down the unit fractions next to each of the images on your worksheet. You should have got 1 out of 4, which is a quarter, 1 circled out of 3, which is a third, one shaded out of three, which is also a third, and here half of the balls are circled. One group out of two groups all together. A non-unit fraction has more than one part shaded. In this shape, two of the parts are shaded. The shape has three parts all together. So the fraction that is shaded is two out of three parts altogether, or two thirds. A non-unit fraction is any fraction where the numerator is greater than one. Okay, pause the video. Find this slide, this worksheet in your work pack and have a go. You need to shade the parts to represent each fraction. How did you do? Let's look at the first one. The first one says that one part out of four parts altogether is shaded. So you should have shaded one part. Doesn't matter which part you shaded as long as it was just one part. The second fraction says two out of four or two quarters shaded. So you needed to shade two parts. One, two. Okay. The third fraction says three out of four parts are shaded. 
or three quarters. So we need to shade three of the parts. Oops. Gosh, this is a tricky, a tricky shader. Okay. And then the last fraction says four out of four parts are shaded. Remember, when the numerator and the denominator are the same, it means that we're talking about the whole thing. So the whole shape has to be shaded on the final one. Okay, and I hope your shading was neater than mine. Okay, your turn again. Pause the video, find this slide in your work pack and have a go. Be careful because the denominators are not all the same. Count the parts carefully. How did you do? Let's have a look. So the first fraction has one, two, three, four parts altogether. So that's my denominator. The denominator is four. How many parts are shaded here? One, two, three parts are shaded. So my numerator is oops, three. So that fraction is three out of four or three quarters. The next shape has one, two, three parts altogether. And one, two of them are shaded. So my fraction here is two out of three or two thirds. My final fraction has one, two, three, four parts all together and just one of them is shaded. So my final fraction is one out of four or a quarter. Sort the fractions into the table below. Here we have a box for non-unit fractions and a box for unit fractions. Remember, unit fractions always have a one for the numerator. Non-unit fractions always have a number which is greater than one for the numerator. Pause the video and work out what fraction each image is and have a go. How did you do? Let's have a look at A. A is showing us that two parts are shaded out of three parts altogether. So our fraction here is two thirds. Two thirds is a non-unit fraction. In B, three quarters is also a non-unit fraction because the numerator is greater than one. So three quarters goes in the non-unit fractions. C is showing us that four parts are shaded out of four parts altogether. This fraction is showing us four quarters. Four quarters 
is a non-unit fraction. So this also goes in the first box. D is showing us that one part is shaded out of four parts altogether. This fraction is one out of four or a quarter. So this fraction is a unit fraction. It goes in the second box. At E, we've got a shape which has three parts altogether and one of them is shaded. One out of three altogether or a third. This is a unit fraction. So this also goes in the second box. Now it's your turn. Remember, the denominator tells us how many parts there are altogether and it goes on de bottom. The numerator tells us how many parts are shaded and it goes on the top. Pause the video, find this slide in your work pack and have a go. Remember, Unit fractions always have a 1 for the numerator and non-unit fractions always have a number which is greater than 1 for the numerator. Pause the video, work out what fraction each image is and have a go.